Okay, so today we're going to have a go at the uh, December multi-round. Um, so, a couple of very good players leading the way. And there's also a couple of very good players who haven't played their third round yet. We are going to have to try and uh, shoot a very low score. It's Pebble Front 9, but it's High Wind and it's Championship Green. So it's going to be a tough setup. Um, we need a little bit of luck with the wins, particularly on holes like eight and uh, eight and nine and the par fives. Um, so far, I've shot twenty nine, twenty seven. Uh, so in contention, but um, what to do? Good ball. Now the trick with this one is to try not to leave it beyond uh, the hole. Just in front of the hole is the place to be. It's easier said than done with a big strong wind. Uh, much easier said than done with a big strong wind. But um, it is a much easier putt if you can leave this in the right place so we're probably gonna have about about that of wind maybe a little bit more it might bounce to the right as well um, and it's gonna push it on a little bit as well so I think we want to be hitting this about uh, about 54 50 probably 55 there. No heartbeat, that's a bad sign. That's a very bad sign. And it's, uh... wow, that, uh, that really kept going, that really kept ripping, right? But uh, that is into the correct place. I would have took that. Now this is one of these where it looks like it goes different directions from uh, from different sides. <clears throat> you can see here it looks like it's going right to left, but not a lot. There it looks like it's really going right to left. Um, I think those two are consistent, and that is uh, not doing very much at all so we are going to hit it there the bit of left to right wind has a tendency to push it um, in the direction of the wind that should be good oh, my high. goodness that tried to get away there it's probably the wind <clears throat> Good start. It's a tricky hole. That's easy to par the hole. So this wind, um, I always feel it, it sometimes doesn't want to take it as much as it should on this. So you have to be a little bit careful not to dump it in uh, into one of the bunkers. Um, from here, it looks like a little bit of a headwind. Yeah, from there it definitely looks like a headwind. Right? Um, so two, uh, two, one, one plus a little bit for the headwind. I think that's probably going to be uh, almost a full three iron.
Again, that's uh, that's ID located right below the hole. That is, uh, is a good leaf. So the trick here is just to work out um, how much it'll I want to go right to left at the start here and that's the that's the channel. I want to go right to left at the start and then it'll come back at the end. And the wind is gonna push it right to left too. And from here it's telling me to show me a different dot. Um, that second dot, if I move to here, that second dot looks like it's going left to right. From the other side, it was going right to left. That is uh, going to be slightly confusing. I kind of like that. Uh, I kind of like that other line. I think that's, I think that's pretty good. Okay, nice eagle. Good to get one of those on the board early. Maybe a little bit careful here. Don't I do anything stupid like missing the fairway, uh, which is very easy to do. Um, he says, speaking from experience. I shouldn't have missed the fairway, though. That should be good. Good ball. we're going to get here that is the question um, it's definitely a few yards of it there's definitely a few yards there I think we want to hit this about 70 about 70 yards which is about there Take that. We will definitely take that. That's a shame we didn't get a nice big straight tailwind here, or slightly right left tailwind would have been wonderful, but um, after holding that shot, we probably can't expect, uh, can't expect such good fortune. So let's just whack this one down at the left side, let it drift back to the middle of the fairway and go from there. Now the trouble with this one, it will want to, uh, this will want to just spin like crazy going into that wind. Uh, it's going to be, it's a big slope up here and it'll pull the ball all the way down here if we, uh, if we don't try to counter that. So uh, we will obviously try to counter it. Um, now the easiest way to do that is to just hit it with a vast amount of topspin. Um, and the punch is also quite an effective shot here. Um, yeah, that's not useful. Um, I was hoping I might have had some notes on the punch shot here. So 43 plus uh, 3 for the elevation, 46. Um, 
28. I'm just going to hit this in there. Um, Midge's at top. Just to try and hold it. I should probably not have the flag in there. I don't want to hit that on the fly. That would not be good. Oh, we haven't got the heartbeat. Oh, we nearly made that. We nearly made that. So, we know there's not a lot of break on this because we saw it when it spun back past the hole. Um, we are into the wind and we're up a big steep hill, so we're going to have to make sure we don't leave this short um, or let it dive right across the hole at the end. So we're not hitting it hard enough. Um, yeah, that would be, uh, that'd be very bad news. So we are um, going to give it a good melt. Solid, but... Pleased to get off there with the bird. Right, what do we want to play here? Um, well we've got we've got roughly a fifty percent win there when you take into account the, um, the fact we're going to have to aim so much further left into the wind. Um, I think the baseline is roughly twenty four twenty five. Um, it's going to spin left to right as well here. Uh, it's going to move down that green quite sharply. So I'm going to hit it out. Uh, all the way out here. All the way out here. Um, maybe, maybe a little more, but I'd rather be, I'd rather be slightly right than slightly left. Uh, go on one yard further. Um, and we're going to add on, I think, about 13 or maybe even 14, um, because it's going to come back off that slope. Uh, so we'll add 14 for this is 202, which is going to put us right about there. Got that heartbeat. Now, this could go in. This cell always has a chance from there. It starts to run down that hill, down the hill, down the hill. Oh! Oh! I quite fancied that, you know. It started running towards that hole. Not much in this. Solid putt. Okay, another one navigated. Be a little careful here. I don't want to. Uh, don't miss the fairway. I should do.
Now, this is a great eagle opportunity. Um, we've got 12 for the elevation, that's 206. Um, and there's a little bit into the wind uh, as well. A little bit for that. And that is going to make it easy because if you can land the ball in this little area here um, and just let it hop up to the hole, that is the place to be. Now, if you're landing here on a downwind, it's going to shoot all the way at the back of the green. So you really want to be able to land it into this little upslope here or in this area here, um, which a little bit of a, a wind into will help us to do. Uh, it tends to feed left to right, so we don't need to play as much wind as we normally would. And also it will not move as much as it normally would coming from uh, below that cliff seems to be a little bit protected. Um, a lot of players tell me that I'm talking rubbish and that is not how it works. Um, I just happen to think it does. Um, we will see. Now we hit the ding. Um, what is wrong with that? Landed a little bit short of where I wanted it to. That that um, that was slightly strange. So this is going to need a good bang through the fringe. Usually you add about three for the fringe. It sort of depends, but um, you usually add about that. It's not a lot of break on this, right? This, um, it's probably as much break for the wind as there is for the, uh, for the contours there. I quite fancy this one, you know. I quite fancy holding this one. Lunk. There we go. Good start. Right, um, this one, this one you've got to get the spin right. It's all about spin control. Um, well, there's a few other things too, but um, it's generally about spin control. Um, we're going to be landing it up here and uh, spinning it down that way. Um, so we're going to need to play more, more than we normally would. This puts us all the way over here. It was a bit scary aiming over there, but um, it is what it is. Um, oh, I've pulled that. I've pulled that. It's a terrible shot. Big, dirty pull. And you can see it spinning over that way further. If we hit the ding, that's good. If we hit anywhere near the ding, that's good. This isn't a bad putt. Oh, 
Oh, what a mess we made of that. What a mess we made of that too. Two missed dings. We got punished. But it's fair to say that these two holes offer an opportunity to get that shot back. If you can get uh, off these holes with a couple of birdies under your belt, that uh, really is really is picking up strokes on the field. No point taking a big risk here. Well, people go really close to that uh, that rough. There's no point. There's no point. You're hitting the same sort of shot in any way. A little bit into the wind is what it looks like from here. We'll check that from the reverse camera which essentially confirms uh, confirms that fact if anything it tells me there's even more uh, of a headwind uh, than, um, than it does from here No, no, no. It's not a full shot, Rob. Um, concentrate. Uh, 186 divided by 196. 95%. That's more like it. Didn't get the heartbeat. Hopefully that's not long. Not bad. Not bad, that was a tricky one to judge. So this is, um, this is one of those that's lightning quick, but it's actually, actually a putt I kind of like to, uh, to make. Gonna hit this around about four and a half uh, to be dead weight. So maybe just a fraction harder. And we just gotta set it off. Just gotta set it off and let the green do the work. I think that's a reasonable line, you know. Tis. Great roll. Good. That uh, has, uh, has probably made up for that last hole that we uh, had aberration on the seventh with the mistings. Um, oh my goodness, God. You can't miss Ding like that into the wind. That is a terrible shot and that has lost our chance of the birdie. That has totally ruined our chance of the birdie. Um, that is a truly dreadful shot. So what we're going to do here is we're going to punch this one down there and we are just going to hope for the best really. Let's see if we can run it onto the front of the green. That is unfortunately about all that could be done with that. That, uh, that was diabolical. Uh, 
but this is uh, this is makeable. This is uh, this is makeable, and it would be a good one to make. Um, I would like to hold this one. So it's gonna be this top down. The wind's gonna push it right, but it's gonna turn left a lot more. That is the crux of this one. Please go in, please go in. You beauty, you little beauty. That is uh, made up for the seventh. Ford made up for the seventh. Yeah, not a lot of putts there. Eight putts. Um, there was some woeful misdinging in there, wasn't there? There really was. Um, three eagles. Um, that would be good in the clash. Good scrambling. Um, putts per hole average 0.78. Um, well, we did it a few things. We just uh, we just missed them by a long way when we did miss. Uh, I've been there. Let's go and have a look at this. Where is it at? There we are. Yeah, we've got a good lead there. Um, and that might not last forever. Uh, there are some good players who haven't played their final round yet. Um, but averaging 27 is, is solid. We're ahead of, uh, ahead of a couple of fabulous players there. So uh, I'm pleased with that. And I uh, hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.